Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel today. I hope you guys are all doing well. My name is Mariana. If you guys are new here, welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be bringing you guys a week long of LSAT pop. I only, I take the LSAT in like three to two weeks. So I wanted to bring you guys, show you guys what like my last final weeks look like of studying. At this point, it's just really, I don't even know what to study anymore. I think it's just like practice tests. Um, but I'm also feeling that last long run of, okay, I'm ready to be done. Sorry. But yeah, so I'm going to bring you guys along. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because it always means a lot to me. And check me out on my social so you guys stay updated with me and everything. And yeah, if you guys want to see my whole week of LSAT prep and what I do, keep on watching. So for today, I worked this morning and I did a test section for logic reasoning and then I started a test section for Logic Games, but I actually went to a job interview, so I'm dressed up. Originally, I wanted to just get a job after I took the LSAT, but I'm trying to line it up with like my other job. Um, but I don't know. I'm having mixed emotions of how I did. I don't think I did good um, just because they wanted more experience, but I just kind of shoot my shot and see if I feel like the experience I have already but i don't know we'll see all they said they'll let me know by the weekend if not it's like not the end of the world because there's other firms i did apply to but i don't know i was just hoping this one would be it but i keep saying but but yeah i i'm just got home and i'm gonna make some coffee because i'm really tired but i do want to finish studying at least get two hours in um and then call it a day I've honestly not been studying for long periods of time anymore because I think that's what's draining me. I've talked about it in my last video and so I just, at this point, it's just test, review, test, review, test, review. I can't keep like trying to teach myself stuff because um, I think I do know it. It's just getting into the time. So yeah. So I'm going to go inside and change out of my suit and make coffee. Okay, so I had it paused. Police office I left for my job interview, but I'm going to start it back up and then just finish logic games and then call it a night. Okay, so now today is Wednesday. I didn't finish what I pretty much did last night because I was just finishing logic games and then ending the night now today. I'm going to finish reading Tom by test section and then I'm going to blind review it all. And then, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to do for review today. But I'm going to show you like what else I have planned to kind of like spread my day out with studying. I did work today. So that was like the first part of the morning. Now it's like 3.30 almost. And I'm just going to start going down my to-do list. Here, I'm already registered for the October LSAT which is in three weeks, and then I'll get my score release date, um, November 2nd, but I'm going to register for the November one just in case I need it. Hopefully I don't I have a bad feeling that I might, but that gives me another four weeks to just continue with study. I'm not going to really stop studying. I'll give myself, like, I have to take the test, like, a few days, but then go back on it to studying, and then... I know I said October is going to be the last one, but if obviously, if I do need it, November's still early, so. There it is. Signed up for November's all set, which I had to pay $215 again, which sucks. But I know if I withdraw it by a certain date, I get probably half of it back. But we'll see. Or at least I just have it there, because the next test is until January, so that's why I want to at least do it in November. Okay, so I just finished reading from... I'm actually really happy because in one passage, which is the longer question, there's seven questions. I only missed one, which is really good. And the best one is law, which is good. And then the second one that I did better on was natural science, which also really good because for a while I was doing really bad in science. And then... Um, I ran out of time for one passage, and then that one was social science, and then humanities. I did not do well, which I started to notice humanities. I used to do really good, 
and now I'm on. So right now I'm gonna take a little break, step away from this, and then come back to blind review the whole test data. Happy Thursday, you guys. Thursday? Friday is Friday. I forgot I didn't film Thursday. Um, pretty much any Elsa and stuff because my phone was like dead for much of the day and then I like, worked longer. Um, so I wanted to catch you up on what I did yesterday and explain everything. But today's Friday. Right now I'm heading to get my eyebrows done because they're super bad. I just woke up from a nap so I feel like very groggy and my face feels puffy. But... Today I'm gonna be just drilling, kind of just laying back and drilling. I was actually talking to one of my subscribers who reached out to me. Like I said, I always will re like respond to you guys if you reach me out and like my DMs and stuff. I love talking to you guys. We were just kind of like talking about to like we're at the point with the LSAT that we're pushing away our stress and just ready to take it. And that's how I feel right now. And I feel better more just drilling than taking a lot of practice tests. Um, so being sad, I'm just gonna finish drilling today and then tomorrow will be my break day. And then Sunday I'm debating because Sunday I do have off, I have stuff going on. So I don't know if I wanna take a practice test then or Monday I have it completely off, nothing going on and then take a test there. So I might do that instead. But yeah, so I'm gonna go jump into my appointment and then I'll talk about what I did yesterday. Okay, sorry if the lighting's really weird. You guys can see how my skin's so sensitive. If you guys haven't watched like my skincare routine, my skin's really sensitive. She like nicked me. And she's like, oh, I didn't want to come out. And I'm like, that's blood. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to go get gas and then I'm going to head back home. Um, but I wanted to talk about what I did yesterday. Um, so I... Finished my reading comp line review, which I did really good. I got fifth. No, I did logic reasoning. I did reading comp the day before. I did logic reasoning, and I got fifteen out of twenty-five. I was shooting for sixteen because that's what I did last time. But because I actually scored higher in the blind review of reading comp, I ended up staying the same um, scores. I got one fifty-four. Um, if I combined all my scores to make like a test score, which I'm like happy about but again I know that's just like doing test sections but I still try to keep it in the same amount of time but yeah so that was like the first half and then I like ate dinner did whatever and then um I started drilling I didn't finish drilling because I had an interview which I'm about to talk about so I had another interview which I think went really really well it's again legal system position um but I was just like really bonding with the interviewee and I have I'm supposed to have another one I'm not going to go into further details just for privacy reasons but um yeah I really hope I get this job and it'll line up after I take the LSAT which works out perfectly um so I had that at six and then it lasted for a while and so I wasn't drilling or anything. And then I did go out with my friends afterwards because you know what? You need that life study balance. Um, and that's pretty much all I really did. That's why I didn't vlog so much just because I know it was going to be like all over the place. And I didn't want to. I knew it wasn't just going to be like a dedicated like LSAT setting day. But today most likely will be. I'm going to go home and then finish my drilling. What I've been doing is shooting for drilling to get 16 right. And then reading comp, I get above 12. Yesterday I got 15. So as long as I could get, like keep doing that, I think that would definitely help me up to like pushing my score. And then logic games, um, I ended up getting only 17. Did I get 17? Yeah, I got 17, which the highest I've gotten so far is 19. So if I could get into 20s, that would be great, but you know, we're still working on there. Um, and then I don't know if I said I did sign up for November's test. I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but if I did 
you guys already know, but November is just going to be like an extra safe play. Okay, so let's go get gas now and then head home to continue to study. Okay, so right now I'm doing logic reasoning and I know the quality is about to be really bad, but um, I'm just drilling. I'm trying to do 25 questions to like to mimic the actual test and then I'm gonna see how much I'm gonna get right and then I'm marking as well. I am just have like a notebook down with me for marking as well that I get wrong and then like blind reviewing it. Right now I have 11 right which is good. I'm trying to like keep my scores in like the double digits because that's definitely helped me a lot. But yeah, I'm also just like at the point, I don't know, I'm just feeling overwhelmed. Like I know I talked about earlier too, like I need to stop stressing, but I feel like I'm starting to stress a lot about just like transition for law school. And then if I go out of state, it's just like that whole idea. I think that's just, I know it's something that's in the far future and I can't do anything about it now. And it's just kind of just like, waiting but I don't know I just feel like really overwhelmed at the moment so I'm not like 100% full focus right now but I'm still doing good still doing good I'm just trying to call it a night soon I'm not sure if I'm gonna do reading comp today um I'll probably like we'll try to do it if I don't do it today I'll do it Sunday I'll just do like a whole day of reading comprehension and then um, because I think Sunday I'm not going to take the test, I think Monday I'll take my test, and, um, yeah, I'll just do drilling. I'll probably do test sections again Sunday, tomorrow I'll give my day, like, break. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, you guys, if you guys are trying to look for, like, an online course, I highly, highly recommend the LSAT Demon. I've always talked about it, but I've honestly seen... The only reason why I've seen myself improve a lot is because of the LSAT statement. I'm more of a visual learner, so kind of to see it, like them doing this video like that. It's also on YouTube, but it just gives me more like understanding, and I could do this at my own pace instead of going to an actual prep course class. Okay, so I just finished logic reasoning, and I got 13 out of 25, which I did... I think the last time I did the test section, I just want to see if I improve. Okay, so last test section I did 15, so I went down two points, but I was trying to get to 16, um, but I got 12 wrong. No, that would have been more. No, that's right. That's right. See, I'm not good at math. But so I got 12 wrong, so I'm with the wrong, I'm trying to get less than double digits um like logic games or might get now like five wrong sometimes nine depending but that's pretty much my whole study week um definitely it's not as intense as it was when I first started studying just because I talked I filmed the video but I didn't really like the quality because I filmed it like late at night and it was like really bad um but I pretty much at the point where I just don't need to really like relearn all this stuff. Like I don't, I know that I knew that coming into like studying again because I know how to do it. It's just practicing it. And that's what pretty much I'm doing. And I think me doing those long hours that I used to do, like working all morning, like an eight hour shift and then trying to study for like four to five hours. It was draining me a lot and I would study every single day and then take the practice test. And I just started seeing no improvement and it was really discouraging. And now that I'm just, you know, sitting for an hour and a half, two hours, sometimes three, and then taking the test, I've seen myself go up. So that's just me personally. Some, if you could study, I see it online that they say you have to study for like six hours every day. I physically could not do that. Um, but, you know, other people might be able to. But you just have to do it in your own technique, your own method, and just prove from there. But, yeah. Okay. I thought I was recording this whole time.
that I was not. So, being said, um, I'm trying to think what I was trying to say. Oh, so September 30th, I take the test in two weeks. And so I'm going to take a practice test Monday, review it, and then some, and then I'll take it that following Sunday. Maybe if I could get another one in beforehand. Um, I was trying to take multiple tests, but I think drilling just helps me a lot more in taking test sections. Uh, but yeah, so I'll probably take two more tests before I take the real one. And then the week of the LSAT, I might drill a little bit, but I honestly don't want to touch the LSAT. I want to step away from the LSAT and just, you know, kind of relax before I take the test. If I do get my full-time job, like before I get into that, um, I did sign up for November just in case. Um, obviously I won't get my score back till... November 2nd, which is two weeks after. Um, but I'm going to keep studying. So after I take the test of 15th, I'm going to give myself like two days and then I'm going to start drilling again and then take, I'll probably take more practice tests to just kind of see where I'm at. And then I will take the test the 11th or the 12th on a weekend. So yeah, that is all. I can't wait to be done with the LSAT, I'm so exhausted. I never want to look at the LSAT again, but I'm going, sorry about that. Um, once I'm done with the test, I'm gonna go through my LSAT books. Um, there are some stuff that I've written in pen, so if it's like a lot, I probably won't give that away, but I'll do some sort of giveaway for you guys, because I know a lot of prep material is gonna be expensive. Law school in general is like expensive, and I'm like, I prepare for all this application fees. Um, but I have a lot of content planned for you guys. It's going to be a lot more LSAT related content, like law school. I know I personally like doing other videos like beauty and fashion related, um, but it seems like those videos don't do as well. You guys like a lot more of my law school videos. Um, but I just kind of want to like make my channel like a free range of stuff. But being sad, just because since a lot of the application stuff is going to happen soon after I take the LSAT, I'm going to do more videos for that for you guys. And then I'm going to go to New York week after I take the LSAT, which I'm so excited. I'm going to tour some schools because um, Cardoza and Fordham are like my top schools right now, but also depending on when I get my LSAT, it might change. So yeah, um, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my week of LSAT setting. Definitely it's changed a lot, like I said, but I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.